Welcome back everyone, Dan Vega here, back with another WordPress tutorial, and today we're going to look at connecting the Jetpack plugin. So in our last video in this series, we took a brief overview of the WordPress administrator. We went through some of the different sections, but we didn't dive too deep into anything. We just kind of gave an overview of everything that makes up the WordPress administrator. So now what I want to start doing with individual videos is kind of going into the different features of the administrator. And the first thing that we're going to look at is the Jetpack plugin. So if you don't know what the Jetpack plugin is, it's basically one plugin that just gives you tons of WordPress.com's features out of the box. So um, I'll give you this link below, but back in the day, WordPress.com blogs had a lot of nifty features that were only available to pe people who self-hosted sites. And it was really complicated to get like all of these features uh, set up and running. Well now, you know, we spent just a few minutes installing WordPress, and now with just a, a couple seconds of setup here with Jetpack, we're going to get all of those great features right out of the box. So let's take a look at that. So I'm logged in here to my administrator. You can connect the Jetpack through the dashboard, or for whatever reason this isn't here, you can't see it, just go over to the navigation on the left, and we're going to go to the Connect Jetpack. So let's go ahead and click that. All right, so what we need to do now is connect Jetpack to our WordPress.com account. If you already have a WordPress.com account, enter in the username and password here and click Approve. If you do not, uh, you can click on this Need an Account. I'm going to actually open this in an incognito window just because if I open it in the other one, I already have that. So what I'm going to do here is go ahead and fill this information out and create my account. Okay, so at this point I have created my WordPress.com account. I'm going to go ahead and close this and now I'm going to log in using that information I just have. All right, once uh, you enter in your login information and approve it, you will be taken back to your WordPress administrator and the Jetpack screen. Okay, so right here on the Jetpack screen, it basically says jumpstart your site. So to quickly boost performance, security, and engagement, we recommend activating manage carousel related posts and single sign-on. So this is just going to turn on some recommendations for you right away. You can always deactivate them later, or you can skip this entirely and just activate what you want to activate. But I'm going to go ahead and jumpstart this because I think those are a good idea to get started. All right, so success. You've jumpstarted your site. Now here's all of the different, this is basically the landing page for the Jetpack, Jetpack plugin. And right off the bat from performance and security, you could see what uh, plugins are turned on um, or what features are turned on, what uh, as far as traffic growth, what's turned on, and WordPress.com tools. So now if we want to, though, um, we can basically go in and look at individual features. So let's come back there in a second. We're going to go to settings. And from settings, now I can see all of the different Jetpack features that we can turn on or off. If you see, there's like a little tint of blue. These are the ones that are turned on. And we can always deactivate them by just clicking on deactivate. Or if they need further configuration like this one, we can click on configure. Now, we probably getting started don't know what a lot of these uh, features actually do if we turn them on. So what we can do is we can click on this title here 
and it'll actually open up some information about this. So in this case, this beautiful math feature allows us to write in some cool syntax and actually have the math show up as we would want it, you know, if we wrote, uh, if we were to write it on a piece of paper. So that's pretty cool. So we're not going to look at all of these, but I do want to turn out, you know, a couple of them are on already. I do want to look at uh, some of these and how we can use them. Okay, so let's just go through a couple here. So the first one I want to look at is contact form. So let's click on that link and just see what it is about. it's all about. So a contact form is a great way to offer your readers the ability to get in touch without giving you your per without giving your personal email address. You don't want to just slap your email address on a page because those can be picked up by the bots and spammers and it's just never a good idea. So if you want to give your either your readers or visitors to your site a way to contact you, a contact form is a great way to do so. And so with this turned on, which it already is because it was turned on when we kickstarted our site, in the both the posts and the page body, we can insert a contact form. So I know we haven't gone over pages and posts yet, but let's just go into posts and we'll go into the post that was already created for us and just look at this. So in the body here, when we go ahead and click in here, um, there'll be a new uh, button up here for uh, add contact form. And so if we click on add contact form, you can see there's a name, email, website, and comment. So we can either remove some of these, maybe we don't want a website, or we can add new ones. And once you do this, you can add this form to your post. So anybody who doesn't know programming, this is great because we don't have to know how to style a form. We don't we don't have to know like what programming goes into, you know, capturing that information and sending it off. We can build our form and then set up our email notifications. And whenever somebody fills this out, it'll get sent to us. So I've even, I'm going to go back to my website too. I've actually done this. So you can see on my website, this is done. If we go into um, contact, I'm actually using this on my contact page. So I have a way for you to fill out this information, submit it. And I don't have to worry, even though I know how to build a form, I don't have to worry about doing that. You know, building a, a simple contact form is not something I want to do. This plugin does it for me. So that's one of them. Um, let's get this out of here for a second. Let's go back to the plugin and we'll leave this page. And let's look at some other ones. So that was one of them. Um, what else do I want to look at here? So post by email, we're actually not going to dive into this one, but post by email is a nice way of publishing posts uh, on your blog by email. So if you just have a text body email, um, just a simple post that you want to get out there and you have your email in front of you, you can go ahead and fire that up and, and send an email to a specific address and that email will get created with a post. So the subject will be uh, your title of your blog post and the body will be the entry. So that's pretty cool. Um, what else do I want to look at? Okay, so publicize. This is really cool. So publicize allows you to connect your blog to popular social networking sites and automatically share new posts with your friends. So again, we, I know we haven't looked at creating new posts yet, but let's say when you create a new post, you want to tell Facebook about it. You want, you want to tell Twitter about it. Maybe you want to post um, somewhere else, you know, uh, Google Plus, for instance. You wouldn't want to have to create a post, copy that link, and then write up a summary on each individual social network. That would just be too time consuming and you wouldn't want to have to do that. So again, I'm going to go back over to my blog uh, just because I have this turned on already. And let's uh, add a new one. Okay, so when we're in a new post here, we would just type up our post like we normally would. But on the right, you can see there's this publicize. So I have this connected to a bunch of different accounts. 
And by default, this is gonna post to my Facebook page, my Twitter account, my LinkedIn, and my Google Plus. And it will you probably it just uses the title by default, but you can customize this message. And so by default, I'm posting to all of these different networks. But let's say that I have something that I don't want maybe LinkedIn really to see. Maybe it's something a little more personal and not business related. Then I can uncheck LinkedIn just for this particular post. So that's publicize, which is a really cool one. Uh, related posts is a nice way to show posts that are related to this single post. So let's say that you had a series of blog posts, you know, one through five and you wanted to be able to show related blog posts underneath this one so that users can quickly find those posts that they that you talked about uh, within this post so this is a great way to just include related posts in a post sharing is another cool thing again we always you know once in a while we want users to be able to share our content so if we write a cool um, blog post and users come across it and they're reading it and they go wow maybe maybe the audience that I'm speaking to would really like to see this as well um, so those sharing buttons kind of look like this uh, you can customize them t like crazy uh, the look and feel don't don't get stuck on that um, but as you can see at the bottom of this I have a share this so you can share this to your Twitter page your Facebook page and again, these buttons are totally customizable. So that's sharing. Uh, what's another good one? So site stats. Again, just a nice little plugin to show you at a glance what is going on in your blog. So if we go back to mine and go back to the dashboard, we're going to see our site stats over here. And we could just see by day what's kind of going on. You can come in and configure it and do a whole bunch of different things. So those are site stats. And I think one more I'm going to look at, um, actually two. So spelling and grammar, I am probably one of the worst spellers ever. Um, so this is a great feature to turn on when I'm typing out a post or I'm, I'm writing up a page. Uh, it'll keep me in check and make sure that um, everything is spelled and, and that grammar is correct. So that's a nice one. And then finally, this wp.me short links is pretty cool. So uh, instead of typing or copying, pasting long URLs, so when we get into the way that our links get created out, if you watch my last, uh, if you watch the last video in this series, we have like a title of our domain name, then we have like a year, a month, a day, and then it could be like a long slug or an alias for this particular entry. Well, sometimes we just want a short code. And this is great to use on things like Twitter and Facebook. Um, so the way that this works is, when, is, you know, especially when I'm using uh, Publicize, it posts out that short link onto Twitter, which is great. So if we go into my posts here, actually, let's just take a look at this one. And if we look at the post, you can see this is the long link. But if you get a short link here, we get this nice little WordPress.me short link which is really, really helpful. So again, uh, there's a lot more features in here. I would encourage you to look through all of the different features that you could turn on in Jetpack. And you can even do some searching around and, and just kind of see what others are using Jetpack for. But there's one plugin we got all these really great features right out of the box so as far as plugin goes this is where you start and this is why I wanted to show you jetpack first uh, we should turn that on right away and again if you don't want to use particular uh, features like this beautiful math I can simply deactivate it and once I deactivate it we won't be using it anymore so that's all there is in this particular series um, or in this lecture. I think we're going to end that there and we will move on into some other sections of the administrator and keep on working on our deep dives here. So I hope that helped. If it did, please let me know below. Uh, subscribe, like this video, give me a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.